Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on various products, tips, and tricks. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the BoxyCharm Premium box for the month of March and it's a Fenty collab and I'm also going to give you guys my review on the box and everything that's in it and all the type of stuff like that but make sure you guys leave a comment down below on what you think of this video make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are subscribed already and make sure to hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time I drop a brand new video if you want to know if BoxyCharm Premium is worth your money make sure to keep on watching this is the BoxyCharm box for the month of March and again this is the box charm premium box this retails for $35 instead of the 25 base price of the base box and I will be doing a review on the base box as well if you guys want to do a comparison video of the premium box versus the base box let me know down below if you guys do want that but yeah let's get right into it oh wow so this is what the box looks like so it just says BoxyCharm X Fenty and then it just has all the products in here. So yeah, let's get let's get right into it. So again, this is just BoxyCharm X Fenty Beauty, which is Rihanna's brand. So we're gonna start off. We got six items in the box. So that's already a lot. No, I'm just, we got six items in the box, and we're gonna start off with the kilowatt freestyle highlighter. So we did receive a kilowatt freestyle highlighter from Fancy Beauty in the shade kilowatt. I'm stupid. Oh no, sorry. In the shade trophy wipe. It's called the kilowatt highlighter, but the shade is trophy wipe. I love Rihanna's pack. Oh well. This is a weird date for a highlighter. It's nine months, the Fancy one. Most of my highlighters, let me see. Most of my highlighters have a 12 month uh, date on it. I don't know why this one has nine. Weird, but most of the time you don't really have to throw your makeup after the date it has you can use it a little bit after the date most of the time but this says a creamy long-lasting endless way to glow and for cheeks eyes or anywhere you want to glow and this retails for $36 light up where you want when you want with this weightless long wear cream powder hybrid highlighter in the iconic shade trophy wife Ooh. I've seen the components of Fenty Beauty before I just haven't bought any because I was gonna do a whole video like getting everything from Fenty Beauty we're still gonna do it, but we're just gonna get the shit I didn't get in this box. But this is the highlighter. I'm just gonna open it. Mm. I love these little compacts. They're so cute. This is what the compact looks like. And there's Trophy Wife. Let's swatch it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Did I expect anything less? No. That's, and honestly, just, just carrying the compact, like, just to use it, amazing. This is a nice little, a nice little, like, touch-up mirror. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like movie-esque. But that is beautiful. Do you guys see that right there? Wow. Let's continue. Next, we have the Fenty Beauty Matchstick, and this retails for $25. These are magnetized makeup sticks in a long wear light as air shimmer formula to highlight blush and enhance. This long wear cream to powder highlight stick is weightless, blendable, and lives to be layered. Included shade may vary. And this retails for $25. And we got the shade Rum. This is what the matchstick looks like. You guys have probably seen a bunch of matchsticks from Fancy Beauty, of course. And this is what it looks like right here in the component. This is how much product you get. Let's see. That's how much product you get right there. And I believe it's 9 milliliters or 0.3 ounces. And let's give it a swatch. I'm going to swatch it right next to the other highlighter. This shade is definitely unique super unique wow the formula is so creamy so creamy like it just like went onto my hand like with no um a lot less reflective than the kilowatt highlighters it's almost like a light um reflect but very very nice obviously gonna go in with that guy so i'm just gonna throw that box to the side next we have the moroccan spice eyeshadow palette the Moroccan Spice has 16 richly pigmented shades serving up a dash of matte, satin, pearl, metallic, and shimmer finishes. And this retails for $29. I thought this was way more than $29. She's giving you some good quality. This is the packaging. And the packaging, it's very basic but very luxurious. I wish it had a little bit more. But right, this is the back. And here I'm going to stop it right here for you guys to check out the shades. But we do have 
Moroccan Ice, Mirage Casablanca, Marrakush, Shisha Smoke, Sahara Stunna, Quicksand, Desert Baked, Evil Genie, Fez Up, Saffron, Come and Get It. Is it Cumin Get It? <laughs> Come and Get It. Cumin Get It. <laughs> Suk Suk it to me. Oh, uh, Sock it to me. Suck it to me. Suk <laughs> Nuts and Dates. And Hennessy. Oh! <laughs> I can't get demonetized for that. I said Henna C. Like, Henna, like that the people do the tattoos with, and like the ocean, like C. Henna C. <laughs> She's smart. I got. I see you, Rihanna. And Spice Strip. Let's check out these palettes. I have too many damn palettes, but of course. I gotta swatch this for you guys. That's what I'm here for, of course. So, I don't think I'm going to be doing a look today with the box because I will be doing, I'm gonna do the videos a little bit different. So I'm gonna do like an unboxing of this one and an unboxing of the base box. And then I'm gonna do another video where we take everything we checked out in the boxes and I do one of the faces with the premium box and a full face with the base box. See, I hope you guys will like that. I'm coming up with some new ideas. Oh. But of course, we're gonna do the swatches like I do now. And this is the Fenty Beauty palette right here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful as hell. The smoke with the Fenty Beauty and the blue and the packaging is beautiful. I will say, even if you don't like the colors in this palette, this is like the type of palette you have on your vanity just because it looks fucking amazing on your desk. <laughs> but let's go in and open it. This is the color story right here of the palette. Let me pause it on the color story and you already know that i swatch by rows so we're gonna start with the first row that's gonna be there's gonna be four rows of four shades so it's all gonna go cohesively you guys already know i do the swatches on my hand and i do them again in rows of four and then yeah so here we go i have my i have my bare hand right here to begin with we're just gonna go in with the first shade of the fancy beauty palette moroccan ice that's like a white with um it's a shimmery kind of white with a metallic rose gold shift it's really hard to show on camera but when you turn it you could kind of see it right there it's like kind of pinkish but it's it's very i want to say it's super nice it's not as creamy as i wish it were but it's the first pigment so let's keep it next we have maraud oh maraud is beautiful that's creamy now that's the creaminess i was hoping for the metallic is beautiful it's very creamy, it's very nice. That's a beautiful shade. Next, we're gonna go in with Casablanca. Oh, just as creamy. Oh, that's a beautiful gold with some green and ma magenta reflex. And just the color it gives off is amazing. And last but not least, we have Marrakush in this row. Oh, and that, that's like more of a duller tone gold metallic very greeny as well undertone but that's a beautiful color as well so far i like the first row except for that first shade it wasn't terrible but it was just a little bit less creamy than i would like you could probably end up working with it you know it's not horrible like i said but we're gonna go into row two now we're gonna start off with shisha smoke this is the first matte of the palette so let's see how this works out oh that's beautiful that's a perfect matte especially grays grays can sometimes be difficult and that's not patchy or anything and it looks wonderful it's a very light gray as well Next, we're going to go in with Sahara Stunna. Yeah, I was imagining it's a rose gold pink with a dual chrome shift. As you could tell right there, it's like a champagne shift. Yeah, that's that's beautiful too. Next, we have Quicksand. It almost looks like a deep salmon color. Oh, again, that's a great matte. Great, great matte shades. Very light, but I'm not expecting too much pigment since they are more like duller colors. But beautiful, beautiful like color payoff in general and next we have desert baked and then we have like a bronze beautiful metallic oh it's so deep and beautiful just that kind of coppery finish it's giving off and it has a really really nice highlight and that was the second row of the palette that one again was a great row honestly up to right now that is my favorite row on the palette great nice mattes great nice more metallic shades they're all beautiful in that row i could see myself doing a look with just that row honestly but now we're gonna go into the third row. We're gonna start off with Evil Genie. This is really the color that pops in the palette and this color, oh my, this color is beautiful. I'm not gonna hold you. That's a beautiful, beautiful aquamarine, like a beautiful highlight, it's beautiful. Then we have Fez Up, this is another matte shade. Another deep, almost muted color as well, similar to the gray and the other magenta, but it's very cohesive in the palette. 
this is amazing as well too this can be some very nice soft grungy glam i could see you doing with this palette next we're gonna go into another matte shade this is saffron again going with the rest of the color story it's a very muted good color payoff color and it's beautiful i'm loving the color story of this row already and last but not least we have come and get it or cumin get it however you want to pronounce it this is the last shadow of this row and this is another matte as well and yes again you know it's, it's a brownish nude it's very dull like the rest of the colors amazing color payoff again this is a very 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 cohesive color story and i like that because i've seen palettes where i look at the shadows and i'm just like what <laughs> i'm like what do you even want me to make with this palette <laughs> this is beautiful that blue, that blue is amazing. I have to dip into that blue. And I don't even like blue like that. And last but certainly not least, we have the last row of the palette. We're going to start off with Sock It To Me or Suck It To Me. Not completely sure how it's pronounced. Oh, that's a beautiful dark like blue gray with a little bit of highlight. There's a similar shade to that in Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien palette. It's called Tall Gray and it's very, very similar to the shade. It's very, very nice. Next, we also have Nuts and Dates. She's smart. I like her names. Oh, this is different. So this is like a plumish dark gray type of color with almost like a pink highlight that's kind of hard to show on camera. But this is a very different type of color I've never seen before. Next, we're going to go in with Hennessy and not the drink. So don't monetize me. I'm saying Henna and C. <laughs> and this is another brown matte shade. Again, similar to, you know, the color of Henna, <laughs> I guess you could say. But it's a very nice shade that you could use. Very, very versatile shade in the palette that you could use with so many of these colors. And last, but certainly not least, we have Spice Trip. Spice Trip is almost a lighter version of Fez Up, like a few shades lighter, and I see it could be worked out as a buffing out shade or even a very, very beautiful blend shade. But this is the last row of the palette. I think the middle row and the second row have my heart. Those were some, that that blue with that, with that Sahara Stunna was beautiful. But that's the whole palette swap. Very excited to dip into this and create a look in the comparison video. Super, super excited. And again, like I said, it's just a beautiful palette on its own. Just even looking at it like this. I think it's a very usable palette, um, especially for like just the average person every single day today because it has some just very neutral, beautiful colors that aren't too scary. So till next time. Next, we have the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer, the ultimate gotta have it lip gloss with expensive shine that feels as good as it looks. In shade Diamond Milk, a dewy highlight for your lips. Fenty Beauty Glass Bomb is the essential finishing touch to your Fenty face. Now, if you don't have this lip gloss, all I can say is you're missing out because this shit is changes your life. At the packaging like usual, there's the Gloss Bomb. And it's just nine milliliters of product. And this is what the component looks like. Of course, this is iconic already. Everyone knows what this is. This changes your life, I'm telling you. Do you feel that? Like that feeling? Oh my God. Let me, wait. Do you see this lip gloss? Like the way it feels on your lips, the way it looks, the way it tastes, the way it smells. Oh my God. I love this thing like literally love this thing do i love it more than this one that's a video you guys will have to stay tuned for <laughs> but no being honest it's it's one of the best lip gloss formulas i've ever had being fully honest if there's anything you should pick up from fenty beauty it's that lip gloss please and that retails for eight 19 zolas. and next we have the mademoiselle plush matte lipstick all moods all skin tones all day a pocket perfect lipstick with a long wearing petal soft matte finish available in a rainbow of weightless color intense shades each designed to flatter all skin tones retail 18 dollars when this came in the mail this was the tiniest lipstick i've ever seen in my life now i know lipstick is not that big but this one's tiny this one's teeny tiny and this is in the shade shorty shorty it's so cute like it's so small and cute and it just says fancy beauty right here so we're just gonna open that up and check it out this is how much product you get right there that's what it looks like let's give it a swatch it's not necessarily a color i would reach for it's very very grungy very dark but it is a beautiful color and it does suit all different types of skin tones i do think it's beautiful just not something i would reach for necessarily so just me or does this shit feel cheap as hell 
I have NYX Cosmetics lipsticks that feel more expensive than this. Anyways, let me uh let me swatch the lip gloss on my hands too. I forgot to do that, sorry. My hands all the way so there's the lip gloss at the end, there's the lipstick, there's the matchstick, and there's the kilowatt highlighter. And last but certainly not least, we have the Invisimat blotting paper, ultra portable blotting paper that lets you touch up in stealth mode with the super chic refillable mirrored compact that looks like a lipstick case. Lift away, shine while leaving makeup perfectly untouched. Let's check this out. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm just gonna open this baby up. I think this is very cute and smart. The only thing I don't like is that when you rip it, you rip it like right here. It's almost like tin foil, but this thing is not sharp and it just rips it like tissue paper. But does anybody else got this? No. Got a little mirror on it too. Look at it. You guys are just seeing yourself. <laughs> it's it would be so hard to see yourself in this mirror. I would be like, you can see like <laughs> a strip of yourself. You'd have to be like, oh, whoa. <laughs> But this is cool. This box of BoxyCharm was truly very different. If you have all these fancy stuff, it's not very beneficial because you probably have all this stuff. I've been meaning to grab all these things. So it was just a plus. I didn't have to pay over $145 for six items. I got them all for $35, which is amazing. So if, you, if you're interested in getting all this for $30, I would highly recommend checking out BoxyCharm. <laughs> but I think... Everything was amazing. The only thing that I would say, the lipstick, the component's a little cheap. It comes off very easy, like the top part. The matte blotting paper, like I said, the little ripper kind of just shreds the paper, oddly. The matchstick is very not highlighter-esque. It's a lot more like soft light, kind of. It's hard to explain, but we're gonna see how it acts when I actually try it on the skin in the next video. This lip gloss will change your life. This highlight will change your life. And this palette, from what I see already, it looks like a pretty amazing palette. The color, the pigment, everything looked pretty amazing. So I have pretty high hopes for this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the brand new BoxyCharm premium subscription that I'm going to be doing now on my channel. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next BoxyCharm base box video, which will probably be sometime this week. And if not, the beginning of next week. And then I'll catch you guys in the showdown of the boxes to see what box is worth your coin. Because I know most of you guys are not looking to do two boxes a month. Let's be serious. <laughs> you guys want one. And you guys want to know which of the two boxes should I do. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh, and I'm here to give you guys my opinions and thoughts on various products, techniques, tips, and tricks. And today I'm going to be doing a... <laughs> so I got this from another YouTuber. His name is Robert Welsh. Of course, I want to give credit because I don't want to be attacked. He does the Pro MUA Reacts. I'm not a Pro MUA, but I am a MUA. So I'm going to do a makeup artist reacts to Kylie Jenner doing Kim Kardashian's makeup. So I don't know how this is going to work yet because I'm going to edit this later. And don't mind if my eyes are red. I just did the Bloodlust Collection review and all these um, press pigments were on my eyes. <laughs> and I look like Puff Daddy now with my puffy eyes. But um, I'm probably going to be like in the corner or something like over there, over here, over here, over there. And you guys are going to see like my little face and then you guys are going to see what I'm watching. And then when I comment or say something, it's going to go bigger, whatever you guys will see. So let's get into it. I'm going to have one AirPod in to hear what's going on. So you guys don't hear what I hear, but you guys will hear the audio because I'm going to put it in for you guys in the video. But this is going to be fun. I hope. Okay. So I have the video here, it's 11 minutes long. So this is just something a little bit different cause I don't wanna always be doing the same thing on my channel cause you guys are gonna get bored really fast. And plus I think I'm pretty funny at commentary, which I would like to do, but like, I like makeup too, but this is like my way of getting both of them. But whatever, let's go in, all right, ready? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Today I'm gonna do my big sister's makeup. And we've been waiting for we've this We've been day. trying to do this for, for years. For definitely three years oh, at this okay. point. I've always wanted to do Kim's makeup. We wanted to show you guys and I wanted to capture this They're on camera. They're acting like they never see each other. I've been wanting to do her makeup for three years. <laughs> oh my god. We never see each other. <laughs> They're never filming a fucking TV show together talking about makeup. Like, she can't do her makeup once. I have no idea how it was going to turn out. I killed this, so you I did. can't wait for you guys to watch this because I'm really happy with my work. Okay, okay. Kylie Jenner, the makeup artist. 